Hey everybody, welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. Oh, the event square is not open right now. Fuck. Shit. We missed, no. the, we missed the Power Rangers show? Yeah, I... <laughs> oh, man. It's damn like, it! It's like the 25th anniversary reunion. I'm gonna miss all the damn... I'm gonna miss Tommy. I'm gonna miss, um... Jason David Frank. Milk the Green Ranger thing again. <laughs> hey, man, I think it's all he has at this point. Who cares? Besides Is he gonna the, work? Uh, that is martial arts. Yeah, the martial arts stuff that he used to do. Like, you know, I used to have well, that VHS tape. Well, let's see. He was the Green Ranger, then he became the White Ranger, and then in the next Power Rangers series, he became a Red Ranger. And yeah. then he became Black Dino Ranger. Which I, I have to say is a downgrade, comparatively speaking, because green's cool, white's cool, <laughs> white power. <laughs> but then he goes red. No, Jason was red. I actually really do want to play a battle for the grid, though. Let's stop any money. Yes. Same. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what else, man? Come on, everybody. Let's be broke together. Misery hmm? loves company. So you, we can ride the gondola now. Now, normally people just wait until the Dayton sequence for this one, but you can do this now. And you actually get some extra FMVs doing this. There's more than what we see normally? Yeah, more huh. than what you see normally. Uh, you know, I was kind of taken by surprise. Uh, hey, Sid, let's ride the gondola. Boy, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> What's the gondola? <laughs> Boy, what in the Sam hell is a gondola? I don't ride them with no dude. I need a woman. That would be said in a nutshell, not going to lie. Oh, wow, you're <laughs> right. There are additional FMVs. Yeah, there's also, there's there's extra FMVs if you decide to ride the gondola now. It's basically just, you know, vanity stuff. Like, get, like show more of the Stroke gold saucer that you're, that, more of the gold saucer that you're currently in. More so like, hey guys, look what we could do. We're square. Also, what the hell is the gold sauce? Look at the titties on this dude. God damn. Like shit. <laughs> you could that's, you that's could you could ass on his you chest. Could, you could punch that and your whole arm is broken. <laughs> damn. Wait, see, it's under like, darkness now. Titties. Okay, it's a bigger knockers than I do. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Ooh, the ghost square. It's really just a glorified hotel. Yeah. I love it though. That's cool. You get to hear in the distance Jack Torrance that he's gonna bash the fuck out of Wendy's head. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> what are you scared of, Cloud? Who the side glances if I just told a Wait. racist joke. Were you scared oh, of God. Cloud? <laughs> Commitment. <laughs> hey, see Grab one. Hey, we just missed the show. That guy lied to me. <laughs> Grab one. They just don't want you to watch it. Oh. No clouds allowed. Probably one of them on the clock. Yeah, we don't want it to rain on the parade. It's an hey open yo. roof. Were there more than just that? Thank you for riding the gondola JPEG. Yeah, look at you can see the outlines. Yeah, the uh, the artifact. They they use they use the selector tool, again. but it's no. just <laughs> well, again, when you're playing it on the original PS1 resolution, you don't notice it at all. You know, there, see, it's funny because as much as like. We, we go ahead and we, we appreciate, like, HD remasters, that sort of thing. To me, in my opinion, there's still merit of playing the game on its original console. Yeah. And that because it, the game was designed for that resolution. And in my opinion, ironically, it looks better, you know, as opposed to upping the, uh, the resolution and scale here. Because you can see the seams now. You can see where, it, like, it's where the, where, the, where the cracks are. It's our most, most popular employee, Mr. 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 Hangman. Kill. He's not a man for words. Kill me. Also, he's not an actual employee. He's dead. But whatever, the kids love him. <laughs> it's someone that actually just jumped off with the news. They're yeah. like, oh, it's, like, well, oh, it's Mr. It's Hangman. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're trying to like, like, yeah, like just play along, like, with, play it. along with it because holy shit, someone just killed themselves. <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. Hangman? Life uh, is an exercise uh, yeah. in misery. Just hanging around. Hey, yo. Who said that? Uh, I don't know. People call me a noose cannon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say nuisance. <laughs> noose cannon is still pretty fucking funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the reason, another reason why we're heading to the, to the ghost square is because our third Turtles Paradise flyer is there. It's actually right there. That sign right there. I already read it, but you got to find That's the third one right there. You got you got more than enough opportunities to read it. You can't ever not read it. But if you want to get it as early as possible, you got to do it now. Away. Anyway, so we went to the speed square first. We didn't have any GP. Uh, but now we, we, went, now we went to the one square. Now we got GP, so we're going to do the speed square next. I really hope they make this better in the remake again. Again, give me more Give me more courses. You know, because the, the, the idea of the speed square is really cool. But we need just more than one track. 
But basically, speed okay, it's like you're riding a roller coaster and it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a space shooter. Oh. Basically. You're on a fixed course and your goal is just to get as much points as you can by shooting the ever living fuck out of everything in your way. Right. And while there are a lot of objects that you can see, like. Moving around the screen, he's like, okay, that's pretty obvious points. Now, the the key to getting a high score in this one is actually shooting things that you wouldn't think are targets that are actually are. Right. You know, uh, it could be as innocuous as, like, icicles to, like, random rock formations. I think there's a moy head somewhere there. There's a cactus somewhere around here. I mean, the UFO is probably one of the bigger point givers. Which I never killed. Which you know, because uh, here's the thing: the trick with the laser in this one is that uh, it's stronger at the very tip of its energy point. But if you hold the button down, the meter goes down, and the laser gets really weak. Right. If you want the if you want the the trick to this is actually just smashing the circle button, because you still get the consistent laser. But it's always at max strength, especially if you're mashing the fuck out of it. It's exhausting. Your thumbs will probably hurt at the end of it. But it's the best way to get a consistent stream at max strength. And that's the key to, like, shooting down the UFO and the like. Hmm. I don't know why, but when it just went to this screen, the first thing I was just thinking of is the original Smash credit scene. Oh, like when you shoot, like Melee. Yeah, When you're shooting the credits. Yeah, yeah. Get, like, 5,000 points. Unlock Toad as a playable character. That's that was a, I always assumed that was real. It's nope. not. Uh, but anyway, besides uh, besides like earning points and all that sort of thing, the reason uh, the reason why you want to play Speed Square is because uh, you can get a couple of items doing that too. Uh, the most prominent one for now is Aerith's joke weapon, which is the umbrella, which has uh, no material slots on the weapon like itself, truck, but it hits like a truck. Like it is, I think it's physically Aerith's strongest weapon in the game. Yeah, but it ain't one of the best. And no. considering she's a mage, that's as helpful as an asshole in an album. Exactly. It's like giving her a club. And it's like, I'm pretty sure she can swing it hard and it's going to hurt. But she's a magic user. She needs magic. I was just thinking, like, um, when you pass the Ferris wheel. Yeah. Was, like, you were still shooting the lasers. I was thinking if you shot someone in their eye. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> but, like, um, see, also seeing the items on the right side that, that you're hitting, I'm just... So, re weirdly enough, I'm just thinking of motor tunes. Yeah, when you're getting items. Yeah. And shit like that. Yeah. Dynamite! Yeah. Dynamite! And now you're in hell. Big, bigger, biggest. <laughs> Bomb! <laughs> yeah. I heard a little Dan Green on you there on that one. That was such a fun game, though. It was fun, yeah. Fucking same, same maker as Gran Turismo. Like really? If, if you could believe it. Yeah, that's where he got his start. <laughs> Motor 2 Grand Prix, then he would go on to make Gran Turismo. Then again, in America, we got the second game. Yeah, yeah, we never got the first one. Nope. Motor 2 Grand Prix was actually Motor 2 2. Yes. And I felt so betrayed. This is the UFO. This is the last I one never of the last that thing. thing. And again, just mashing the button. There you oh, go. Wow. I, never knew, I never knew how to beat that thing. Yeah. Uh, you just mash the button, and there you go. You get, a, you get a little time to, to shoot it, too. You can also use the speed up feature here. In case you know, in case you know, you're in a want to get a move on. <laughs> yeah, I know it's speed square. God damn it! I'm just paying homage to its naming convention. I don't think you can shoot this thing. Nope. Uh, it's just there for decor. So what do you win? Not a goddamn thing. Because well, uh, I mean, there are leaderboards, but to me, they're just, they're just you're, you're competing against yourself. <laughs> Hosted by poor Curvy. Uh, I got the Masamune. Oh my God, Sephiroth's weapon. No. Oh, am I, I soldier? Am I number one soldier? Yeah. I oh, I can't wait to equip this shit right now. Now I have the biggest dick. Oh, <laughs> it's just a regular item. A perfect copy oh, of Sephiroth's sword. Oh, oh. Tease, you motherfucker. Anyway, Asshole. so if you want Aerith's best, the, the the joke weapon, you want five. You need to score over five thousand points. Now you can either do it what they want you to do and just like shoot everything like in sight and know where all the hidden stuff is or you can get the big mamma jamma secret ultra super mega bonus score and that's the yellow thing's propeller look at my score whoa for some fucking reason if you manage to hit the propeller of the blimp that gives you over 14,000 points I never wow. knew that was a fucking thing and that is easy umbrella and then later down the road when you come back here that's easy mop for Sid Mom. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it sounds comparatively lame. <laughs> Will he stand up right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. The, the propeller, though. The propeller 
That's if, such, if for some reason if you manage to hit it, that is, it gives you such an obnoxious point. That's bonus. such an odd detail, though. Yeah, I know. Like extremely odd. Oh fuck, he dead. Yeah, I was like, oh, did you see that score? He beat my high score. I can't beat that now. <laughs> I didn't know about that <laughs> propeller. He he senses the score being beaten. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh, he dead though. He done he, dead. He, he dead dead. He, he dimmed dead. Down, maybe he just fell down the he stairs. He dimmed down to the Dimsdale Dimmadome. <laughs> maybe he just fell down the stairs, though. They're quite long. That's quite a long stair, Chris, but no, 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 no. They're all dead. Oh, no. Even, oh, he died. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, you thought it was Sephiroth that killed the soldiers, but this was me, Dio. <laughs> you murdered your own staff? I'm fucking well, insane. Well, hold on. Hold on. The Shinder soldiers are not my staff yet, yeah, but the, the girls are, are clearly dead. Well, maybe not her. She's still alive, I guess. Some dude with a they were gun gonna on his hit arm. me with a sexual harassment oh, well, lawsuit. Hold on a second, a man with a gun on his arm. Yeah, so they think it was Sephiroth at first too, but Sephiroth isn't the type to use a gun. Though yeah. it makes sense for him, just have the sword and a gun like this. Yeah, exactly. Reminds me of Alvin from um. Hey, I mean, Zillia. we haven't seen Sephiroth in such a long time. Well, maybe he has a gun for an arm. That shoots out Masamune. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know, um, Final Fantasy fourteen has Xenos. and Z the fucking of, golf club. The, the, the golf fucking club, golf the, club. Yeah, the, 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 the golf. <laughs> the sword golf club carrying case. Maybe that's what Sephiroth has as a gun for an arm. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck? This uh, I I I'm bothered by this by just how quickly they get apprehended because I, I, it's uh, Cloud and Tifa attempt to try and talk to Dio and Dio's not listening. And then Ketchy, but no, but Ketchy just like immediately darts, but Cloud and Tifa follow him. And it's like, what are you doing? No, stand your ground and explain yourself to Dio. By so, running after Ketchy, you're making yourself, you're incriminating yourself. It's also a case of, would it, would it really be shown that Dio would listen? I would like to at least have another, I, I would at least like, have them uh, attempt to I explain this track. Because why the fuck would you book it right then and there when you think what the is happening? Don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a Coral Prison. And this track is called the Sandy Badlands. Yeah, Love it. Damn right. So this is so this is why Corel is gone. This is Corel. This is Corel. This is the old Corel. This is Baritone Town. What's left of it? Yeah, basically. It's because of the golden saucer? No. <laughs> no. <I mean. laughs> That'd be some shit. But no, 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 no. If you're recalling the flashback, uh, so basically what happened, Elliot, is uh, uh, Corel had a new Mako reactor yeah. installed there. Yeah, no. And. A, b a group of rebels attacked the reactor, and Shinra blamed the townspeople, and they burned the village yeah. as a result. Now, there's something I wanted to go into real quick. That rebel faction they talk about. It could very well have been a cover-up. Could it could have been a well cover up? Yeah, Shinra, um, Shinra, makes, Shinra, Shinra lays the blame on a false flag operation. Right, right. Their shit is protected. As a result, they end up having a means to take it out on Corral. Because I, I was thinking... Hey, test Zero's lair. I was thinking... What if it was the first incarnation of Avalanche that did it? That's, that's possible. What I was thinking. Yeah. I haven't played before. I haven't played the uh, mobile game about it, but neither have I. That's why. I, that's why I like wanted to go into that because I, I would kind of find it ironic that if it was the first incarnation of Avalanche that caused the attack, which caused Corel to burn down, and Barrett joining Avalanche would be like a, an, a what would you call that? I guess a cruel irony. Yeah. The uh, faces there either blow up on your face and do or do cure three after you take them out. I don't know what. Uh, is it a 50-50? Is, is it a coin toss? It's 50-50. Okay. Damn, he stole your money. And you got it back. I got it back. And why'd you punch him? Good job, KG. Because <laughs> the targeting system is wonky with <laughs> this cat angle. That's why I punched KG. Oh, scared. what the fuck you doing, lass? <laughs> Shinra spy. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's in the zipper. <laughs> oh, it's just nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's a void. <laughs> it's like our it's like our I'm sorry John fucking person <laughs> he's just being a pest don't worry about him yeah I did this dude creeps me out well that's the whole point yeah, of I guess the, the, which yeah, one it did, is the entire which point. one the Majin Buu behind you no, the, yeah the Majin Buu behind me and his twin brother over there <laughs> I'm guessing this right here is like the main uh, housing building for the area yeah it's the elevator Long story short, I, I also I kind of like how Dio has this much jury, judge, jury, and executioner rights for being a fucking um, Chuck E. Cheese host, but he pretty much gets to decide whether or not he'll ever die here. But he's not the boss of this area, though. No, he's uh, not the boss of the Corral prison, no. but he is. But he has enough of authority, apparently, to just say, hey, you know what? You're going yeah, to jail. you're going to jail here. Bro, can you stop following me? No. These guys always lie. We talk about the logistics, though, of this area. Because 
How do you live? I mean, it's more like, was Koro always surrounded by this quicksand? No. Remember how Myko, Myko Energy sucks up the life of the planet? Right, right, right. This is most of it. That mm. combined with a huge, that combined with a huge ass um, devastation done by Shinra, he probably raised the, cor the whole land around it to scorched earth levels. In the matter of four years, too. Right. It's pretty devastating. Oh, this is the old house in the flashback. When now the brick bracken. Uh, oh, and now it's burned. Uh, kind of all over the place, and uh... he's armed with atomic scissors. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish oh. he used the same sprite as the guy from outside. That would explain why he stops following you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they're going to set that up, too. It's like, he's got this dude following you. And it's like, Bear's like, who the fuck is this dude? <laughs> it's too dangerous. I can't get you involved. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm depressed. My village burned down. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my family, too, but you don't hear me whining about it. Yeah, we do, right? <laughs> I was talking about Aerith. But <laughs> uh -huh. oh, oh, hey, Aerith. Did you guys get caught, too? What? Y'all got caught? <laughs> Flashback. And he's wearing a white shirt. The villager shirt. attacked. It's Hol them Shinra like, Holy shit. Barrett knows what a shirt is. Yeah, right. So while Barrett and Dine were investigating. Investig well, no, they were, uh, they, were they were touring the Mako reactor when the, when the town was burnt down after the rebel faction attacked and they came back to this site. Right. See, between this and four years of just rampant deforestation and if not outright, frankly, more raided by Shinra and something like that, there's no point in saving the ghost town and the rest of the land died along with it. I, I, I find it weird, though, because the reason why I asked why if Koro was always surrounded by a desert, because look at all these mountainsides that we don't really see. Deforestation, re mountain renovation, and I, I, don't, I, renovation I thought you were going to say demountainization. <laughs> demountainization <laughs> like that, that's, kind of a thing. Uh, yeah, that's called erosion. That Ever takes that takes centuries. Now there's a way to bulldoze mountains. So question: That's how a did really big fucking bulldozer, Matt. <laughs> no, it takes time. It takes time to do it like that. But there's a way you can like sh you can re you can like make mountains go away like that. So oh, I like how uh, she decides. You know what? Fuck you. Follow me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's why his name is Dine, because he's dying. No, no, no. Uh, he's just, well, he's, he's... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up! <laughs> you dick! <laughs> catch me, catch me, catch me, catch me! <laughs> so that's how... Stringfield Gorge! So, ah, yeah. <laughs> so that's how he got the gun ah, arm. Yeah. Because yeah. he got well, shot. Well, the, the uh, Barrett's uh, right arm was originally just an artificial hand. Then he met Shinua Loi, was her name from um, uh, Crisis. From Crisis. There's a, there's, uh, no, Dirge of Servers. Dirge of Servers. Yeah, yeah. There, there, Shinua there's Roy, one. I think her name was, who one. became the gun arm. Uh, well, she's not a character. Oh, no. Was it a she? Was a girl? She what wasn't was a, a character, girl? but it was also yeah. there was also a doctor who did it, and then Crisis Girl, right, girl it right. was her. Yeah. That's that's one of those details I didn't need, but it's it's, it's there. It, it's just a flavor thing at that point. Right. Uh, no, but yeah, Barrett, uh, when, his, when his right arm was shot, it was originally replaced with an artificial arm. He would get the gun grafted in later. Huh. So the question becomes where the bullets come from. Uh, uh, maybe they're magic. Okay. Yeah, magical ammunition. I'm not, it's not, it's not, I'm not against it, no. Huh. His arm is a glorified Mako reactor. Oh, God. I have hate. I hate what I've become. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to explore the rest of the Corral prison next time. More Final Fantasy VII. Have a good night, everybody.